Greetings, Grandfather. There are events happening now that are meant to bring out your spiritual capabilities. Sometimes you will see things that are not of this world. Other times you will hear things that may be from some other world. Sounds, you understand. Even odd sounds or things that are out loud but can't possibly be, meaning seems to be impossible. And still there are other things that will be felt. And today I want to talk a bit more about what might be felt. Some of you are very sensitive now and are either training in spiritual work or practicing it. Some of you have noticed these things and I want to reassure you. You might have times when you will actually feel spirit touching you. As long as you feel a benevolent energy, an energy that you recognize and it feels good to you, it is perfectly all right. And you can even say so out loud. But there will be times when you will be touched in a certain way, not in something that's uncomfortable or, or annoying or even creepy, eh? It won't be like that. Rather, you might get touched in a way that you would appreciate touched in some other way. Meaning some of you might get touched, say, on your right side and you prefer to be touched on your left side or vice versa. Whatever it is, simply say out loud, quietly, assuming you are alone, simply say, I would prefer that you touch me on, and you say out loud, on my right side, on my left side, on my hand, on my arm, something like that. You say it just simply. Don't go into anything long-winded. Just say, if you like, you can say greetings, spirit, or good life, spirit. You can say that. Please touch me on so-and-so. And then ask, you ask, see, and then uh, maybe very soon they will touch you there. Ask out loud, again quietly, do you need my help? And wait and see. I'm talking to those of you who can hear maybe a word or two. See, if you hear help, uh, and I would usually try to hear that out of my... Uh, left or right side, some of you might hear it from the top, meaning obviously you hear things in your left or right ear, but some of you might hear it from another localization. Wherever you hear it that you know is the most accurate for you, pay attention. If you hear help or if you say do you need help and then you feel a strong energy, then do what you normally do to help beings like that who may be lost. Sometimes you might bring in some energy and they will use it in the way they do, for example. Other times you might ask, say, some sort of prayer that you normally say to help such a being. Go ahead and do that. Other times they might be there to help you. So if you say, you need help and you don't feel anything, anything more than the good energy you've been feeling, then say, are you here to help me? Or, if you wish, you can say, are you helping? And if you get a big energy there, then just relax and experience it for a few moments. Many of you might find this to be strange or unbelievable, but I can assure you that there are many people who are sensitive to such things and are experiencing such things at this time. Don't, if you would, ask to be excited 
or thrilled by something. Now, I know those of you who are involved in spiritual practices of a benevolent nature like I'm speaking about do not do these things. But for those of you who are looking for thrills and excitement, I recommend you look someplace else because I will be instructing you, guiding you, and teaching you on how you can experience your spirituality in the most benevolent way. So, if the Spirit is there to help you, just relax into it and enjoy it. You may never know consciously what they are helping you with. You might, but uh, all you need to know is it whether they need help or whether they're helping. For now, that's all that's important. All right? Good life.